My friend Sarah's an archaeologist. She works near here. You wanna go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sarah's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sarah. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sarah to come with me. Usually if some kind of... Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in a cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true, because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret crypt hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night, that's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right, you stay here. So if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. It's not about the safety of all of us. I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel.
I don't hear anything. Exactly. She must be close. She? The Empress Jaguar. As soon as she shows up, every other animal shuts up. No need to attract her attention, right? Right. Shouldn't we be quiet too, then? Eighteenth of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset. And then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Be careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. She likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. One lady upset the witch, and then the witch made her disappear. Hard work is good for the soul. The sect has been maintaining this mission through hard work for over 400 years. Angel de la Cruz and Truilos Serrano arrived here back then and immediately set to work. Their philosophy of labor being the only true way to get closer to God is one we still follow, even now. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? I'm sure you will be satisfied. Good deal.
That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. I'll be here if you want to deal someone. My father brought us here when I was just a boy. For a holiday? Research. He studied Incan stone monuments. I guess it was more of a hobby. He had no formal education. He sounds like an interesting man. He was. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I'd come back here after he died. Maybe see if I could finish what he started. I know how you feel. But then I just ended up staying. There's something about this place that draws people keeps them here. Okay. <rire> ah. Au moyen de mardi. Ah, c'est con.
va Non, j'ai mis une couverte. Sur ce des fleurs. Ah. Ben moi c'est sûr. 